All right, I've made the four hour trek. I'm at the new parent's house. I'm gonna deliver the breast milk. It was really sad to me because it's been like six months since I've made that drive. And I used to make that drive probably twice a month for since we moved into our new house like, what, two and a half years ago? Um, and it was just really sad because there was a ton of forest fire damage on the way um, dry, on that drive um, that I hadn't seen. And it just blew my mind how many acres of land were on fire at one point. Um, it's just crazy to me. And yeah, it's just weird. The world's changed while we've been in our quarantine bubble and it's different. You don't ever have to look too far You don't have to cover up your scars You're perfect darling just the way you are So before you think to rip yourself apart Open up my heart and you'll find love Love, love, love Hey guys, all right, so I got to Aunt Bonnie's, which is where I'm staying the night. Um, thank you so much to her for letting me stay here. Really appreciate it. It's so nice to have a great place to go. Fast internet and everything. Um, and her hospitality is just amazing. It is nighttime, so I'll be going to sleep here in a little bit, and tomorrow is a new day. Hopefully, everything goes well. I traveled safely today, so. <sighs> Come on tomorrow, let's go. Good morning, Keep It Crazy family. So I'm not very peppy this morning because I didn't sleep very well. Um, not because of where I was sleeping. I just, I, I, I'm a late, I go to bed late and then waking, having to wake up early, I did it to myself. But uh, anyways, last night it went great with the intended parents. Dropped off the breast milk, had a great, uh, their parents now, but had a great visit with them, great conversation, it was it was good. What was crazy to me is in Phoenix, it's like 108 degrees, and it was like 8.30 at night. I'm so glad I moved away from the Phoenix Valley because it is so hot. Like right now, it's 8.02 in the morning, and it's 95 degrees. It's just crazy, I'm tired of this. I wanna go back to St. John's, it's a little bit cooler. <laughs> so this morning, I have to go get the keys. Um, I have to do a little inspection first on the house um, and then I'm gonna go meet up with Melinda and Jamie and a couple of other people that are gonna help us move today um, and get it done. Oh in other sad news last night Alex texted me pretty late um, and told me that Chadwick Bozeman has passed away from colon cancer um, and this is just so sad because Black Panther is actually one of my favorite Marvel movies. Chadwick Boseman, an amazing actor. He was, uh, I loved all of his movies that I'd seen. I haven't seen them all, but I'm definitely gonna check them out now. Um, but anyways, rest in peace to Chadwick Boseman. My heart and prayers are going out to Chadwick and his family. Um, I know how hard it is to go through a time like this, and I just hope that they have a little bit of peace in these times right now. <laughs> Too gross to be filmed. Too gross to be filmed, please. It's a good thing that is not smell of vision right there, though. Right? Oh, we're all stanky. It's like 100, 100 degrees out. But it's super humid, so it's super hot. Good morning, Keep It Crazy family. So today is Sunday. I want to apologize because yesterday was just a crazy day. I woke up at like 7.45 and I did not stop moving and hustling until about six o'clock. Um, thankfully, we had like six people there to help m move Melinda and Jamie, otherwise it would have taken even longer. But it was so hot yesterday and so humid. Normally the valley's hot, absolutely, but it's not normally humid. But I, I sweat so much that I got like a heat rash on my chest, it was crazy. Um, but we got them all moved from the apartment to their house and 
they are getting settled in. I didn't want to record yesterday because it was kind of a mess, but it's a great house. They're excited. They're happy to be in a house with a backyard and have some space. I'm really excited because it is a really nice neighborhood where they're going to be staying. Um, and Jamie loves riding her bike. Um, so I think it'll be a great neighborhood. There's a nice little park down around the corner. So super excited for them. Um, I didn't get to film them very much. I didn't film really hardly at all yesterday. I was so busy trying to get stuff done. And then my friend Joe, who was helping me out, pointed out that my truck tires were completely shot. In fact, one of the tires was like ready to blow. And so I ended up having to take the truck in the middle of yesterday while we're in the middle of moving. I had to take it and get four new tires on it so I could drive home safely today and so I could move um, and just be safe in general. Um, and so that took up a bunch of time. It was just crazy. Uh, but we got it done. Everything's moved. I'm going to go over and hang out with them and do a little bit of filming, you know, catch up with them. And then I have to go to a hard or a furniture store before I leave town and buy some dressers. Um, we've been having trouble finding good dressers, um, quality dressers that we can have shipped to the house. Um, and we need a bunch of dressers. So I'm gonna go get a, some dressers, uh, get some food, and then uh, head home. So I will catch you soon. Hello, welcome to our crib. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Hi, baby. <laughs> How have you been doing? Good. Does the coronavirus suck? Yes, it does. It does. Jamie's been trying to get a bike for a while now and hasn't been able to get one, huh? Nope. Ah, we'll oh, keep working on it. Hopefully now we can get one. So this is their new place, forgive the mess. They're still moving in, plenty of boxes, but. Shall we have a little tour? Certainly. <laughs> so Take we'll, us around. We'll turn around this way. <laughs> Here's the kitchen. And then nice. that, that door to the garage, but there's there's nothing worthwhile in there. <laughs> Come around this way. <laughs> and then we come this way. Here's the living room. Nice. Got the table all set up so they can eat. Yes. And then we come this way. The <clears throat> bathroom. Very nice. Real business. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's got to do their business. Getting it all set up. Yeah. She got her closet. She got her snacks, aka sugar. <laughs> <laughs> I already took a couple. <laughs> and then come this way down the hall. This is where we wash our clothes. Do the laundry. Do the laundry. Got to set it up, make it look cute. <laughs> we have an, another room right here. Nice and spacious, got some purple lights going on. Woo! That's a party in there. Party, party. And then... Yeah. They're going to have a third girl living with them. That's a friend of Melinda's. They've been friends for a really long time. She's 10. getting... Yeah. Ten. She's Ten getting years. ready to move in. She's on her way. Yep. And then this is... The master. The master. Scarlett will be living here. She's actually... Not here this weekend, but when she will be, she's gonna be like, Where are we? <laughs> she'll really love it though. It's gonna be a big change, huh? Yeah, she'll love it. <clears throat> Bathroom. Nice. We got our two sinks, and this is kind of cool. Here's like the closet, it has like the mirror. I like that because then you can like. Helps you get ready in the morning. You figure out your outfits. Nice. And the closet. Very so, nice. Yeah. So yeah, that's about it, other than the backyard, but... There's not really much back really there. Much back there. <laughs> Typical Maybe Arizona. Maybe my crib. <laughs> now get out! <laughs> some of them do. Yeah, so new beginning, new start, new whoop, house. Whoop. We're excited, new heck, memories. Heck yeah. We're excited. How do you like your room, Jamie? I like my own privacy, my own, my own domain. Nice. Jamie's cave. Jamie's cave. <laughs> you should get a sign for your door. Jamie's cave. 
cave. Jamie's cave. Oh, <laughs> so we realized, well, I think Melinda knew, but they still had stuff in the fridge. And so we had to come back and get it real quick. But we thought we'd take a moment and explain who Melinda is. Because everybody's like, who's Melinda? Is there a video explaining? So Melinda was a foster child, came to us at the age of 16, lived with us for six years. 7 2012. Oh, July gotcha. 12th. I'm scared of my own data. <laughs> I can't do this. It's July Sunday. of 2012. We're tired. We've been moving all weekend. Summer what do you 2012 mean? is when I came into their home. Yeah. And she is, yeah. I think we had to like figure out like, yeah, my right, my dad's rights getting severed or whatever, however that goes. And then. So she would have had to turn 18 years old before we could even adopt her if we wanted to. But because of the way foster care works, there are benefits that foster children get once they age out or turn 18, and she wanted to take advantage of those if possible. Um, we don't need the adoption. She's my daughter. <laughs> Melinda moved briefly to Washington with a ex-boyfriend um, who she had her child with. Now they're in a custody battle, yada, yada, yada. That's why Scarlett isn't in the vlogs, um, because her dad has asked that we not put her in the vlogs. But uh, once that gets resolved, we hope to have her back in the vlogs. But, uh, and now that Corona's kind of, now that Numbers we're going down. not as quarantined and mm -hmm. yeah, we're going to hopefully be able to see them a lot more. Um, be exciting to see family. It'd be nice because holidays are coming up. I We'd know. We'd love to spend the holidays with you guys. A lot of people have been asking, are Melinda and Jamie related? Melinda and Jamie are biological sisters and yes. Jamie is actually older. Everybody assumes, Surprisingly. Here, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Everybody assumes that Melinda is, but because of Jamie's disability, she acts a little bit younger than she normally you know she actually is but she is technically the older sister so we're gonna get the uh, kitchen packed up we're gonna get the fridge all packed up and then we're gonna say goodbye say bye to this lovely apartment would you like a second tour of emptiness it's empty it's empty nobody cares <laughs> Hey guys, okay, so I finished up with Melinda a little bit ago at the apartment and it was so good to see Melinda and Jamie. It's been a long time. I miss them a lot. I can't wait to see them again. Um, I came to American Furniture Warehouse and it looks pretty busy. It looks uh, very busy actually and I don't want to increase my COVID risk any more than already. And I don't even think they have the dresser in stock. I tried searching on their website, doing like a curbside pickup type thing or a, a customer pickup and yeah, that's not gonna work. So unfortunately we're gonna have to try to order the dressers online, get them shipped to our house. Um, I'm gonna go get something to eat and then I'm gonna get on the road because I have a three and a half hour drive, four hour drive and I miss my family. I can't wait to see Aurora. I was just talking to Crystal on the phone a moment ago and Aurora was in the background talking to me, trying to show me a necklace that she got. It was so cute. I miss her so much. So I will get on the road and let's go. All right, I got home safely. It was a long trip. It was a lot of work. I am so tired. I gotta say it is so nice sometimes when you're in a big family to get away and have a little bit of time to yourself get some time to think, get some time to relax. Unfortunately, I didn't do a bunch of relaxing, but I have to say the best part about having a big family is coming home and being able to hang out with them and spend time with them and get all their hugs. I'm about to walk through that door and I'm gonna get a ton of love. Yeah, it's gonna be amazing. So thank you guys so much for joining me on my vlog and we'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye.